Hi, and uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I'm not up at the cabin this weekend. Um, just had a really, really busy uh, July um, and first couple weeks in August uh, here at home. Um, just a lot of things going on at work and kids getting ready to go back to college. So I am trying to get a few things done. So this video is going to be a little different than my other videos. Um, I'm going to be working on the staircase uh, to go up to the loft. And also uh, the past few weeks I've been working on the trim. Um, got some screens made. Um, so take a few minutes and I'll show you those first and then we'll get going on the stairs. So last weekend I worked on um, getting all the window trim done uh, using uh, three quarter uh, PVC trim um, so you don't have to worry about rot or anything. So everything's all pre-cut. Um, I've used uh, Craig's uh, pocket hole jig to tie everything together. Um, so once I get it up to the cabin, I'll be able to pre-assemble all the frames and then just uh, set them up against the window. And, uh, and screw them on. So that should uh, make things a little easier. Um, you can see back here, I did get some, some custom screens made. Um, as you saw in the last video, I uh, had to tape up some screen just to keep the flies out. So uh, looking forward to getting those installed. And then lastly, um, here's the color siding I'm gonna go with. Um, using a, uh, a, it's called Pro Panel 2 from Metal Sales, same company that uh, they got the, the uh, metal roofing from. Um, you can see the contrast there, the black and green. So uh, things going to look pretty nice. And then with uh, the white window trim. So um, this is on order. It's going to be delivered here in a few weeks. So as soon as that's delivered, uh, I am planning on being back up at the cabin. Uh, the Hopefully here the the last few weeks of uh, August, try to make a couple trips and also over Labor Day to get a lot done. So you have some more videos of uh, progress of the cabin. Um, so I'm taking some time while I'm at home to see if I can transform these maple slabs uh, that I got last year into some stair treads for the loft. So uh, just trying to see what the boards will give me, um, measuring up and uh, cutting down the middle. They're going to work on rounding out the edges and getting them cut up into some treads. So uh, having my head, I think it's going to turn out pretty cool, um, especially once we get uh, some urethane and stuff on it. Um, so uh, yeah, I'll get some more cuts done here and uh, see what it looks like. So here's a quick overview of the stairs. Um, this is the live edge slab uh, that I showed last winter um, that I got from a family member. So thank you, uh, Drew and Kathleen. Really appreciate uh, the maple slab. I um, was able to uh, get it cut down into some live edge stairs. And then also I pieced together a live edge landing um, so, uh, what I'm going to do today is get all these sanded down, get them urethane. Uh, I'm going to be using uh, some stringers here. going to have a corner post for the landing. Um, so, I think as I uh, put it all together, it'll make more sense what it's going to look like. Uh, so, follow along um, as I uh, get through all the steps. So now that I have all the stairs done, I'm going to move over to the landing. So the landing, I just took uh, several slabs and uh, glued them together. On the back side, you can see I'm going to use the, uh, the pocket screws just to tie everything together really good. 
So I'm gonna sand this as uh, best I can. Um, I don't have a joiner or a planer. So I'm gonna get it relatively flat. So it should be uh, pretty good. So now they got everything all sanded. I'm gonna put uh, some polyurethane on. I'm trying this, uh, it's called triple thick polyurethane. It's a water-based. Never uh, tried this before, so we'll see how it goes down. It's supposed to do one coat um, instead of three and no sanding in between. So we'll see how it goes. So what I decided to do was to take my CAD model, which I'll show you real quick, and then uh, actually draw it in full scale on my floor um, just to simulate the cabin. Um, sorry about the glare, but uh, as you can see, it's uh, nine stairs with a landing, so ten total stairs. Goes up and then takes a um, you know takes a turn there. Um, so what I did was lay out uh, the the floor and the loft on the on the garage floor here I'll show you so just so I could get this stringer um, laid out right and also the platform location the landing location so I like to do that just especially when you're building off-site um, you know the CAD should be correct um, but just as I'm building uh, I want to make sure that I have uh, I can see it full scale this works better for me so I did catch uh, actually as I was laying it out I made a mistake which uh, glad I caught um, in my layout so it's always good to to draw it out before you start cutting boards Completed the the lower stringers. Um, this is a mock-up of what the first landing is going to look like. So you go up. Uh, there'll be two stairs. Come to the landing, then turn to the right and go up this way. Uh, another um, six stairs to get to the loft. Um, so these all need to be sanded down um, and uh, painted white. Uh, that post is you see in the corner there. This tall one that is going to be exposed in the cabin. Um, going to go with the open. Uh, open stair concept so uh, let's see if I can get a shot in here yeah, so these stairs will sit in there like this um, so I want to be able to have storage underneath um, so we'll see what it looks like once we get it all put together so I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, the long stringers cut now get those done and get all the uh, ho holes drilled uh, I'm gonna use I've counter countersunk these holes um, I have some 
uh, heavy duty structural screws that are going to go in to, uh, to each uh, stair tread in order to hold it in place. So once you get all sanded and painted white, um, things can look pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, last two, work on the last two stringers and get those done. Alright, so I finished with the last two stringers. I have all the holes drilled and countersunk for the structural screws to hold the treads in place. I have the short stringers done, the support post for the landing, and the landing will also be tied into the, uh, the framing of the cabin uh, once we get it up there. So, uh, it's extremely hot today. Um, probably from the video you saw it rained a little bit. And it's about 93 degrees and feels like 100% humidity. So I'm going to go in and uh, get cooled off a little bit. Then a little bit later I'll come out and uh, get these sanded and prepped for paint. Um, get a couple coats of white paint on uh, the wood we did today. And then uh, do some final fitting um, of the stairs and do some assembly. Got a few coats of paint on everything, so that's all done. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start assembling. I'm going to start with the small set that goes up to the landing, and I'm going to move on over to the, uh, the large section. So, get some video of that. Like you, you can see the general uh, idea of what the stairs are going to look like. Uh, this is the two lower stairs that are coming up to a landing. Um, it's all going to be secured into the wall, so uh, it's going to look a little different underneath this. But this corner post will be here. I may end up cutting it down a little shorter. I um, just need to see what it looks like once we get it all in. But and then uh, once I get up to the cabin, I'll get it all fastened together. Um, this can be easier to transport if I don't hook all the legs on and tie everything together. So I'm going to go ahead now and work on the next section, so the longer run. Um, and these I purposely didn't trim the top of them. I'm going to fit those exactly with the finished floor level of the loft once I get it up there. So I'll get some more uh, video as I uh, put together all the rest of the stairs. Have the completed uh, main staircase, um, less the first step. So this first step I need to uh, notch out, put it opposed. So I'm gonna try to get that uh, mocked up here so I can see exactly where I need to cut it. And then I'll go ahead and get that installed.
So there we go, finished uh, product. Definitely glad that I decided to build these here. Um, just would have been uh, more difficult to build up the cabin. I'm really happy with the way they turned out. Um, really anxious to uh, to get up to the cabin. I'm gonna go up in a week. All the siding is gonna be delivered. Um, possibly get uh, the stairs installed. I do need to put the, the floor down in the loft and also in the main cabin first though. So this may have to wait until uh, Labor Day to get that done. But uh, really happy way they came out. Um, I think they look good. It's definitely gonna look nice uh, once the interior of the cabin's all white. So uh, thanks for uh, following along and uh, looking forward to getting back up to the cabin and get some more videos out.